Being an architect, I know that a lot of architects and interior designers are struggling to find a good Revit family of branded furniture, unfortunately of most of them. Uh, even if they find it, it's uh, rare to be small and not a Revit family or model. And that's why I decided in this tutorial to show you how you can create one of them, actually how you can create after room dining chair. The first thing we need to do is to pick a proper family and in this case is going to be a metric furniture one. And then I'm going to open one of the pictures so we see which elements we have on a chair. And from this one we can see that we have two identical elements. So first is this one and then is this one. Then we have this middle support and we have something which holds our back part and of course we have a seat. If you go to the second picture we can see from here that our legs actually we can be 100% from here that our legs have kind of inclination so they're slightly slope also from the previous one we saw that we have some radius over there and bearing in mind that I have no any dimensions for this for this chair, I'm going to assume that the seat height is is 450 millimeters, so let's say 45 centimeters. And I'm going to do the same thing. Actually, I'm going to take the same dimension for this part as well. So if this is a the bottom distance of the leg is going to be the same as the height of the chair. And let's move to Revit. I was looking at the front uh, side of the chair and I'm going to open the front elevation view. And then the first thing I'm going to do is to create a reference plane. So RP is a command and I'm going to make it parallel with, with uh, our floor plan with the reference level. And we'll put the height of 450 and also we'll name it as a sitting. Uh, this 450 height is because we said that our seating is going to be at 450. We need to define which option of offered from Revit we need to use to model this one. And if we look at the chair, we will see that this looks like a bended pipe. So what, what we need to make this pipe is actually we need a profile and we need a leading line. So the way to do this in Revit is to take a sweep tool and the first thing I'm going to create uh, a sketch path. So we said that it's going to be 450 in total width at the bottom and I'm going to offset it on one side for 225 which is a half of 450. And then I'm going to rotate this part from this point for let's say two and a half degrees. I made it copy, so sorry, but anyway, if I check this, you will see that it's 225. Let's just trim it over there. And the next one is going to be here. I can also lock it and we can make a radius of 100. I'm going to mirror this double M and I'm going to repeat the radius fillet. So yeah. Uh, I can also move it over there and uh, let's go to the left view. We are done with the pet. Let's just confirm this. And now we need to create a profile. This reference line is going to be the top of our profile. And I will assume that uh, our pipe has a radius of 7.5 millimeters. So it's diameter of 15 millimeters. I create it and I move it down because I would like this to tangent the uh, reference plane. And if I go to 3D and click, click yes, we got our first profile. So if you look at a picture, we will see that we have some elements at the bottom of the chair. Uh, that's why I'm going to open the family again. I will just go edit sweep. And I will just offset uh, 
this for five millimeters and we'll just trim let's delete this one the reason i'm making this is because i just uh, would like to make a sp correct spacing for those let's say rubber elements and i will go to the floor plan and because we have two identical elements i'm just going to rotate this one with a copy so copy is on 490 degrees so we got those basic profiles uh, the next thing i'm going to create this element which hold this back part and i will go to the front view and i'm going to create sweep again and we'll let's say offset this one for 150 because i assume that this is like 15 centimeters i can just see from here we can make it to 75 let's say so i'm gonna make it like this 275 and then then i'm going to make this as 500 in height and i'm also going to rotate this for two and a half degrees ah, sorry it made a copy because if you look at this picture you see that it's loped as well and we also have a radius over here so let's make the same one of 100 millimeters and what we also have is this element over there so i'm just going to make it something like this actually it could be shorter so it could be 30 and i'm going to create radius over there as well but not of 100 let's say 25 millimeters so it seems fine and yes i need to extend this one up to there click ok and go to the left view so we need to create a profile and in this case i'm going to make a profile at the middle and it will be the same distance the same uh, radius so we got this in order to finish this construction i'm going to make those rubber elements and as well the next thing is to make this small pipe over here so let's go to the left view again create a sweep sketch path and i'm going to create it here and the thing i need to do is when i'm done i'm just going to move it down for 15 millimeters and we'll go to the front view click yes and we'll create a profile so it will be the circle again of 7.5 millimeters we'll click yes and yep we got this the next thing is to make a rubber elements at the bottom if you look at them they look like a half of the sphere so i'm going to the front view and then i'm going to create and make it as a revolve so i'm going to make it let's say they will be 10 millimeters maybe yep then in this direction 12.5 because it will be two and a half centimeters then in, in diameter and i'm going to make this 45 degrees tangent and this flat part over there and i'm just going to create the axis so it will be this one and yep so we have this we got this you can on the same way create any kind of profile you like so you can profile it on a other way if you would like to then we'll go to the reference plane and we'll copy it from here uh, i don't want to copy it from this point so we'll just click space and i would like to copy it from there so i went to rotate not to copy but my copy is on and i'm going to click this point as a rotation 90 degrees and repeat the same process uh, let's create the sitting and we can see that it's a flat rounded part 
and I'm going to the reference plane and I'm going to create this as extrusion, but for a reference plane, I'm going to pick a sitting and I will make it from the center and we'll make it 225. So it's 450 for a sitting and extrusion. And let's, let's make it, I don't know, 25 millimeters because this seems to me is like something like that. We'll just click OK. So you see how it looked like. And yeah, if we take a look, we have some rounded edges over here. And the way I'm going to do that is I'm going to create a void revolve profile over there. And I'm going to create void forms and void revolve. So first thing, I'm just going to make it like, let's say 10. Then I will go to this arch. 45 degrees tangent and I will make it let's go 5 there 20 and yeah we don't need this part over here and for the axis line I will put this one here and yeah you see it's done I will just turn on shaded so you realize how this looks like. The last thing we need to do is to create this element for our back. And the way I'm going to do this is I'm also going to create a sweep element for that one. So I'm going to make the reference plane over here and let's call this as a top. I will go to the reference plane and I will create a sweep and I will just create a path for a sweep. For reference plane, I will set the top reference plane and I'm just going to create the half because they are symmetric. I will assume that this part here from there to there is 250. So I'm going to make the half of 125 and just mirror this one. And then I'm going to create the arch, which is going to end over here. I'm going to delete this one and this one, as well as this one. And I will go to the front view now and create a profile. So click yes, edit profile. And I'm going to make it like this. I also think that this height is, let's say, 12 centimeters. So I will make it, I will make it from here 60. I can just delete this one and this, I will just extend it in the same direction, 120. And I'm going to create the thickness of, I don't know, 10 millimeters. Let's trim this. Okay. And click okay. And yeah, this looks uh, quite okay. But the last thing we are missing here is that we need to make those edges rounded. And again, it's a void element. So for this element, I'm going to use a void sweep form. And I will just pick this as a reference plane. So let's make this extended on both sides. I think this should uh, maybe a little bit more. This should work fine. Then let's create a profile. So I will go 30 in this direction, we'll pick arch and we'll try to go 45 degrees. Tangent and we'll go 10. So trim this part. Delete this line and click OK. Uh, let's create the bottom one and let's repeat the same process as we did at the top here. And let's make this of 50 because this one seems to be bigger than this one. Create radius. So this seems fine. And when we are done with this side, just go to the reference plane, select both of them and just mirror it or the axis. And yes, that's it. 
Now, when we are done with modeling, uh, we just need to do one more thing and we are done with the model and that's uh, to assign uh, materials. Now, when we are done with modeling, the next thing we need to do is to assign materials and then we are done. You can do it in two ways. The One of the first way, let's say, is to just put material you have in a family. I often uh, prefer... Actually, let's say always prefer to go other way around and instead of giving the material, I often give the material parameter and I will make this one as a metal. Then I can select also other three elements and give them the same parameter. Then I'm going to select our rubbers and I'm going to make it as a rubber and the third one is our sitting and then I'm going just to create parameter for this one and the very last thing is just to save as the family when we saved it we can just make a check and create a new project and I will simply create four walls and can just make one floor. And let's go to our family back, click this load into the project and let's place it over here. If you tap spacing, you see that it rotates. And now when I click on a family and go to edit type, you will see that we have three different uh, parameters here. Uh, that's the metal, rubber and seating. That's the reason why I'm not applying the materials inside a family. Because if you would like to do any changes here, you don't need to go back and change it into the family and then reload it again. You can just do everything inside the project file. That was it for this tutorial. If you would like to support us, please subscribe to our YouTube channel and click the like button.